Hey there, welcome to Jeep Sheep TV. Today we're going to bore an intake manifold. Don't forget this, you need these. And a star pattern. Why hello, Engine Bay. Now the question everyone's asking is, why would you bore this? Or why do you need to bore or port your intake? Well, let's take a look. So. I have my four liter throttle body on here. And if we take our calipers and we set it in there real nice, like so, you get 59.9 or about 60 millimeters, or if you work in freedom units, 2.35 inches is that hole. Now I've got another intake manifold. little tour of my fun and if you notice that's bigger that is bigger than this hole and this hole it's about 54.6 millimeters or 2.15 freedom units so what you're going to experience, and we'll go back to that 60 real quick. Okay. What you'll experience is you can kind of see there's a, a ring of grime on here from where the gasket was sitting before, because the gasket, as we'll discuss, is a little bit larger. This ring of grime is where the 4 liter intake or throttle body is going to sit. And so the air is going to come down whoosh, 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 and hit this. It's gonna hit this wall, and it's gonna get all kinds of turbulent, and then it's gonna go in. And so by removing this material, we're going to eliminate that turbulence that's happening. And so that is why we're gonna bore this thing. Okay, so the thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when you're porting this is you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a template and how you can do that is you take the gasket. Now what's interesting is this gasket is universal for the four liter as well as the 2.5. So it's pretty convenient because the gasket on your 2.5 is going to give you the diameter you want to port it to. It's almost as if they knew we'd be doing this. So you go ahead and you set your gasket on there. I uh, held it down with the original bolts and then I traced with a Sharpie all the way around. Then what you're going to want to do is take a Dremel or an air tool and you're going to want to grind at this. We've already started on this side. You want to grind at this just a little bit until you can make the blue or whatever color Sharpie you have disappear. Once the color has disappeared, that's when you go in and you kind of start blending the inside of this to continue that airflow. And then you're going to want to make sure that you're relatively smooth on the inside so you use like a stone or a polishing wheel on it. But just be warned that this is aluminum. Stone and polishing wheels have a tendency to get gummed up because aluminum is a softer metal. So just be warned for that and try to keep it cool. While you're watching this little montage, I'm gonna explain real quickly as to what's happening here. So this is a cylinder head and these guys control valves. Now, let's flip this over real quick. Okay. So in here you have two valves. You have an intake and an exhaust valve. Intake, exhaust. Okay, intake's this bigger one. Now the amount of air that comes into your cylinder is not controlled by the throttle body so much as it is this valve. Because this is the last stop before it gets into the cylinder. The length of time that this valve is open as well as how far open it goes is what really controls the amount of air that goes into your cylinder. To give you a good picture as to where the air comes from, is it comes from that manifold and it enters in here and there you go. Air enters in and goes right out the valve, right over the top. The air is going to be coming out of this hole right here and entering into your cylinder. So this gap is what is controlling that amount of airflow. So I've had people tell me that by putting on my 4 liter 
throttle body, I'm going to be adding more air to the system, thus changing the fuel to air ratio and blah, 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 blah. Which really isn't true because the amount of air that comes in is controlled by this. The throttle body is only restricting air. It's preventing a certain amount of air from getting in, which is how you control a spark ignition engine, is you're actually preventing certain amounts of air from entering the engine, and that's how you're keeping it from running away or uh, increasing in RPM until it dies. Now, the one thing that we are going to be seeing with the 4-liter throttle body is, if you think about it, you're going to be restricting less air per pedal position, but you're never going to be restricting less air altogether because the 2.5 liter is going to be able to achieve that until wide open throttle. At wide open throttle, now you have a, a significantly larger hole and you are allowing more air in. So if it couldn't get in before, now it can. So it's possible that you're introducing more air to the system at wide open throttle, but keep in mind that that is still controlled by this valve here. All you're doing is reducing resistance. We're trying to prevent loss as it comes into the engine. We're not changing the amount of air that goes in. All right, so now we have bored out the opening to the intake manifold. Let's take a look and see where our restrictions are. Hey, check that out. You can't see it at all anymore, which is way better than before, because before we were hitting a solid wall of aluminum, and that is not ideal. So now we are more ideal, and we should have less turbulent flow, so more air, theoretically. Guess we'll find out when we drive it. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to be notified of my future videos that I post every single Friday, then go ahead and hit that little bell next to it. I'm going out to Easter Jeep Safari this year, so you're going to want to tune in for that. Otherwise, I will see you on the trail.